Hello everybody, it's me Z, your host, and today we are back in Chickleton. And as you can see, I've got my Elytra on because I want to show you something and I think it's easiest to show you from midair. So, um, lately we've had a thunderstorm. Yeah, I'm seriously, we had a thunderstorm and suddenly a weird building appeared. So let me just fly up into the sky and as you can see, the Elytra Lounger still works. Okay, so as you can see, there's a huge tree over there. And it just appeared out of nowhere. Mr. Chickles and I had no clue what was going on. It was just so weird. And it's big as well. It's not just a regular tree. It's like two times the size of all the other trees in the area. So let me hop around and land over here. <sighs> well, it's just so weird. It's like next to our outpost, like the viewing place where we can see the uh, sunrise. And then it's also weird, like it has grown over the path. Nothing has been obstructed, it's just right there. It's so weird. Wait, was that sign there always? Heart of the tree, no, no way. A tree does not have a heart. That's impossible. But I'm curious to see what's down there. Well, let's just try it out. Okay, we're going down. I think that's water. Yeah, that's definitely water. Let's go down. Well, that that's definitely a wetsuit for once. Ah, young, young, young. Well, uh, whoa, that there is actually a heart here, a green heart with a chest in the middle. Where are we? Well, I guess that sign was right, and I was wrong. Well, I definitely want to see what's inside that chest. Let's have a look. Whoa, there's a lot of root and stuff in here. Tree farm blueprint. Whoa, seriously? Well, I want to take that one with me. Concept based on inventor. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Miyati, your host, and you're watching another tutorial. And right here, at the back of me, we've got my design for a tree farm. Are you ready for it? Well, let's turn around. So this design was inspired by a YouTube user named The Inventor. And be sure to check him out down there in the description, because his design is slightly different. It uses a lot more item filters, which mine doesn't. But if you want to make it like um, easier to handle or just you want to try out different designs, then definitely check out his design down there in the description. Okay, so how does this device work? Well, first of all, we've got this place over here. And down here, we can just stand and grow our trees. And if you don't like the side of this hopper over here, you can also put a carpet right on top of it, like so. Then what you want to do, um, this is your chest for your axes, which are going to be in this dropper over here. And here you're going to have your saplings of choice. So with this device, you can farm four types of trees. When I go to my decoration blocks, I can show you which ones you can do. You can do oak saplings, spruce saplings, birch saplings, and jungle saplings. But there is a little modification you have to make if you want to use a different type of tree. For example, if you want to grow the spruce saplings, you need to make sure that this one is flicked and the thing at the top is to the very, uh, very top of the machine. If you flick it, you will see that it comes down a little bit and you have to make sure that it is a bit down for the oak saplings, for the birch and for the jungle trees. If not, well, then you're gonna get some um, leaves or blocks outside of your machine, which can ruin the entire thing. So be careful with that one. Well, let's hop outside again and show you how it works. We've got leaf crushers right on the side with the slime blocks as well as the oak blocks. You, um, I recommend you to use oak because the oak trees will just grow slightly faster with those. Then we've got our bone meal chests, which are on the side and go all the way down into our bone meal dispenser. Then what we also have got, well, 
um, let's head right underneath here or output chests. It's not sorted and this is just of a little thing. Uh, I tried to remove one tree before I showed you this clip. Um, but yeah, it works great. Then once we head in, you can turn off or on the bone meal dispenser with this lever over here. So if you're not using the device, you can just flick it to prevent any lag on your server. So I hope this device is going to work as good for you as it works for me. And be ready for the tutorial because it's coming in fast. And you might want to watch everything of it. Don't think, oh, from this point I can do it alone because I made some slightly um, some very small mistakes which I fixed inside the tutorial as well but they those fixes will be at the very end so sorry for that one but I hope you don't mind and now it's time for the tutorial so let me just turn around and have a look at this block over here. This is going to be your middle block and we're going to begin by placing some glowstone as well as some dirt, coarse dirt or grass on top. Choose whatever one you like. Then next up we're going over to the side and we want to place a dropper facing up right over there and another dropper, dropper facing into the previous dropper right over there. Then we want to place a dispenser right over there facing to the top of the dirt block we just placed. Then next up we want to grab ourselves some solid block and place it right next to the dirt block over there. Grab yourself a comparator and place it right on that block in this position. Now it will detect if the tree will be grown and we can get an output of it. Well next up we want to start by placing our hoppers. And to get a little feeling of how it's going to look like, we're just going to begin placing down some hoppers. And right now it does not yet really matter in which direction you place the first one, cause it's not going into the dispenser right over there. But you want to make sure that this one right over here is facing into this direction. Cause our output chest is going to be right underneath here. So this one will be facing down and these ones will be facing into this direction. So you will have like a borderline in between these two. Then the other side will go the other way around and we can just do this real easily. Just make sure that they all follow in the same pattern and do not stop anywhere because you do not want any place where your items will get stuck. They will all have to go to the output chest which is going to be located right underneath here. I'm just going to grab myself a normal chest for this one and place it all the way like so. So now that we've got the hoppers in place it's time for some of the first redstone. And now it's time to begin with the first redstone of this design. First we're going to place one sticky piston right over there with a redstone block in front of it. Then we're going to place a dropper right on this posi position over here facing up. Then on top of it we're going to place a hopper and on top of that one we're going to place a full block which will prevent any drops of the leaves which sometimes stick out to fall into the hopper. Then we're going to place a block right next to it over here and we're going to place a comparator on top of it. Next up, two blocks like so, and one block in the air like so. We're gonna place redstone dust on these two blocks, and because of this block over here, they won't interfere with each other. Next up, we're going to place a block right next to this redstone dust, as well as an upside down slab, and two repeaters, both on four tick delays. Then underneath, we're going to place another block, and on this one, we're going to place a repeater, and be careful, this one has to be on three ticks delay. Next up, we're going to place two more blocks like so. And on top of these ones, we're going to put some more redstone dust. And on top of this block, we're going to place another solid block like so. So up next, we're going over to the sticky piston with the redstone block again. And underneath, right over here, we're going to place a solid block as well as another solid block right on this position over here. On both of these blocks we're gonna put some redstone dust and you should see it ignite. 
Then we're going to place a dropper right at the end of the redstone dust. As well as another dropper facing up just underneath it. Now you just want to grab yourself a hopper and make it face into the dropper underneath. As well as another hopper facing into the dropper on top. Now you want to grab yourself a trapped chest. Make sure it's a trapped chest or you will have trouble placing it. Place it on top of the hopper and you're ready to go. If you really want to expand your like storage for your axes, because this is the place where your axes are going to be, you can e even add another chest right next to it. Well, next up we're going over to the other side of the sticky piston with the redstone block. And we're going to place two blocks like so with redstone dust on top. Also, we are going to grab ourselves a redstone torch. And this redstone torch is going to be placed right over here. Then next up, we're going to place another block down here, as well as one right over there and one up here. Then next up, we're going to remove this solid block over here and we're going to place a torch on that spot right there. Then on the other side, we're gonna place some redstone dust in this little corner over here as well as a repeater right over there. Before we head on, make sure that this repeater over here is on 4 tick delays. Well, then we're going over to the left side and now it's the right side. Well, let's just continue and place two blocks like so. On top of these, we're going to place some redstone dust and we're going to put some solid blocks on top of them. Then, right next, we're going to place a block right here with a comparator on top of it. As well as a block up here, a block right next to it, and a block over there. We're going to place another comparator as well as two redstone dust like so. Then next up we're going over two blocks in this direction. Place two repeaters both on 4 tick delay. Then at the very end we're going to place a block up front as well as a redstone torch on the side. Then we're going to place a block on top of the torch and a block right next to it. On top of this block right here we're going to place a comparator and make sure that it is inverted. So right click it and you will see this red lamp go on. Well then we're going to place some more solid blocks and we're going to make sure that they face into the droppers over there. So we want to have like a little cross section and we're going to put redstone dust all the way on top. Then we need to make sure that we put a solid block right on top of there and you will see it start flickering. To prevent it from flick flickering, you just want to grab yourself a stone lever. Place the lever on top of the dropper and flick it on. Now your system is off and you can continue working. Right next to the redstone torch, we're going to place two solid blocks and one up front like this. We're going to place two repeaters on both on one tick delay. And then we're going to place a torch on this block right over there, as well as one right next to it with some redstone dust on top. Next up, we want to grab ourselves another dropper. And this dropper has to go to the left side of the position where you're standing, like so. Then you just want to grab yourself a hopper and make it face into the dropper over there. Then we're gonna grab ourselves another trap chest and we're going to place it all the way like so. And this is where your saplings are going to be. So next up we want to place down our slimy sticky pistons. And for that we're just going to have a look around and see in which places they have to be placed. Well first of all well we're going to place some nice oak wood right over here you can make it whatever block you like but with oak wood the oak trees will just grow slightly faster so i do recommend oak wood then right next to it we're gonna place some slime blocks like so and at the very end we're gonna place let me just get these pistons in three sticky pistons like so so that's the first path then right to the right side of me we're gonna place another one and for that we're going to place some slime one two three four five as well as some more oak wood 
And I just like to make the oak wood face to the inside so you don't have like the plain texture of the side, but like the cutoff texture from the top. So then we want to place our sticky pistons once again. So one, two, three. Take out that one behind it and we're gonna continue this. And that are your first piston sets in position. And now we're going to wire up the pistons. So first of all, we want to place a block right over there, as well as an immovable one over there, and two more immovable ones like so. Then we're going to place one repeater, two repeaters, and we're going to place this one on two tick delays and this one on four. Then you just want to grab out your blocks again and place two like so with redstone dust on top. We're gonna place another one up here with redstone dust on top as well as a block right on top of the dust to prevent them from interfering. Then we're going over to the next set and we're gonna do the same. And that's all or wiring up for the pistons in position. And now we're going to place some more immovable blocks. We are going to begin underneath of the first set of furnitures right next to the hoppers. And we're just going to build up three rows like so. Once you've done that, we're going to move on to the next one. And you need to do this one three times more. So, one, two, three, four. And those are your immovable blocks in position. Next up, we're going to get ourselves some pink wool. And we want to start right next to the little input with the sticky piston and the redstone block. You want to go to the left when you are watching the block. And then you want to end up right underneath of this first set of pistons. Make sure that you've got one block over there, one over there, and two redstone torches like so. Then what we want to do, we want to place an upside down slab right over there with some redstone dust on top. As well as another solid block right over there. And two more solid blocks like so. Then just grab your redstone and put it all the way along and make sure to put a solid block right on top of this dust over here. Once you've done that, well then you can place another solid block over here. So we want to place our torch right on that spot over there with a block on top like so. Then right next to the torch we're gonna place another block with some redstone dust on top. Another block right next to the redstone dust with a redstone torch once on top again. Then we want to go down right over here and we want to place another block right underneath with a repeater on top. Place a block in front of it and a block right next to it as well. Then we're just going to go a bit downwards which will be um, logical in a later part of the video because right now it's just a bit unlogical because it goes down but there's nothing right over here and right over here it goes up again. So now we're going to place some more blocks right up here, like so. And on this block over here, we're going to place a repeater. Then we're going to place some redstone dust, like so, a little shape, as well as some dust right on that spot over there. We're going to place another solid block over there with a repeater on top, facing into a block with some redstone dust on top. And right next to it, we're going to place another block with a torch on top of it. On top of that torch, another block and another redstone torch. Next up, we're going to place a normal solid block right up here. And for this one, I'm going to use an iron block instead, just for the aesthetics. Then we're going to make a little shape like so, with some redstone dust and a repeater on its spot right there. Then up here, we're going to place a block with some redstone dust on top, and a block right over there, another block up there, 
one torch and another one like so. And now all your side piston crushers are in place. Okay, so next up we're gonna place a torch and get ready because it's on an another side than you might expect. You've got the entrance from here, then you go one to the right and then up here on top of this block you're gonna place a torch. On top of that one you're gonna place another block and another redstone torch. Then you're going off to the side and you're gonna go out like so. Two redstone dust like so and some redstone repeaters facing in this direction like so. We're gonna make two of these repeaters on four tick delay and this one we're just gonna leave on one tick delay. Now from this point on we're, we are going to place some glowstone right over there as well some glowstone in that place some glowstone on right the other side so one two three and some glowstone right over there this will make sure that your block over here still is lit up slightly then we're going over to the side like so and we're going to make a little shape as you can see right over here and we want to make sure that this one is an immovable block as well as this one over there we want to place down some redstone dust like so then we just want to grab ourselves another block and place it right over there and we want to place down two repeaters one on two ticks and one on four you want to make sure that this block over here is immovable as well and place your repeater on it on four tick delay and this one on two tick, two tick delay then you want to grab yourself your sticky slimy pistons and place three of them all the way like so then we're gonna put some slime blocks on their heads like you can see over here and then i just like to place a slab right there but you can also make this one a solid immovable block or not immovable movable block <laughs> my mistake okay so next up you want to place a block right over here with underneath of it a redstone lever then on top of it you want to place a redstone torch and we want to pillar this up like so so one two three and four then from this point on we want to place a block right over there as well as one right there some redstone dust as well as some more solid blocks and for this i'm still going to use yellow so we want to make some little shape like this place down your repeater two of them and some redstone dust like so and now if you flick this one you can change the setting from oak or spruce make sure that it is on when you're using oak or your system will mess up completely also be sure to place another hopper facing into that hopper right over there don't forget that one because i forgot it earlier on now we're going over to the back of the little clock section where our bone meal is going to be dispensed so you've got this little setup right here and make sure to place a hopper into the back of that last dropper and another one facing into that previous hopper then you want to grab yourselves some chests and you can just use some normal chest the chest will go on top of the hopper like so and then you just want to grab yourself another hopper and it might be best to place this one on the other side so we are going to have it like so and then we're just going to make our chests go up like so be sure to place your hoppers facing into the next chest underneath and then you will just have to put in your bone meal and you're ready to go now from the inside of your tree farm we're going to place some more immovable blocks on top of the sticky slime blocks so one two three and four next up we're gonna place some solid blocks right next to the immovable ones like so and then we're going to place some more immovable blocks right up here you need to make sure that your farm is covered around with blocks to prevent any drops falling outside of the system so we want to place some more solid blocks on these corners and on this side over here then we can just fill it up like so and you're ready to go 
And now to just give you a couple of improvements, be, make sure to make a little pathway right at the front of your little building. So you can walk in and start making your trees grow. Also, you can fill in these blocks over here and you can enlarge your output if you want to. So this chest is your output. And if you want to make it bigger, well, then you just have to place a hopper underneath facing into this position right over here. Then you can place a normal double chest right over there, but you have to make sure that you replace these two blocks with slabs. Then on top of these slabs, you're going to place some more redstone dust and you will be left with something like this. Then you can just continue your storage system or however you like, like so, and you can make sure that the hoppers go into the chests like so. And that's your expanded storage system. Before you start using it, one little adjustment to make it just slightly better. Remove this block over here. Remove this repeater over there and place another repeater on that block right there. Then you can remove the block underneath and place a block up there with a redstone torch on its side. Now the bone meal will still load even if like you're not running the machine. What you can do then, you just need to place another block right over there and make sure that you've got some redstone dust or actually let me just do a slight adjustment again. Place a block right over there as well as a block right next to that one. Remove the dust in that block and some redstone dust right over there. You just make it slightly shorter, but it will still work like it should. And it will just prevent you from being able to fill up your, your dispenser right over here when your machine is not loading, which to my opinion is quite important. So now that everything is set up, except for this chest and this chest over here, you need to grab yourself some axes. Well, you can choose to use an iron axe, you can choose to use a diamond axe, or you can use a diamond axe with um, efficiency 5. But for this design, I recommend you to use a diamond axe, because a diamond axe with efficiency 5 will not give you a lot of a much bigger output. Just fill up this chest over here with as many axes as you like. And once you've done that, you'll see that the chest will run empty and your dropper most likely will start running once you start the device. Because right now, um, the item hopper here is still locked by some of the redstone around it. Then on the other side, you want to grab yourselves the items you want to use for your tree farm. I'm going to use oak saplings to show it, but you can use spruce, birch and jungle saplings. Now you'll see this one fill up and make sure to have another stack of oak saplings in your inventory as well as one X. Then you want to put the oak saplings or whatever saplings you're using in your offhand slot. And on the other one, you want to use your X. Make sure that your X is in the first spot over there and then just hold your hand on top of it. Go stand into this place over here on top of the hopper and place down your first sapling like so. It will start growing and the logs will come in and this one will fill up with axes and this one will still remain the same. Then look up to the very top of this little tree over here. Hold right and left. Oh, okay. Um, let's repair that for a moment. You didn't see that. Okay, so I need to go into game mode zero. Make sure to be in game mode zero because you do not want to use this in creative. Then just hold both buttons. And there you go. You can now farm your oak wood as much as you like. One tiny little more thing. Once you have got like your X inside your first hand, and your saplings in your offhand, well, then you still want to make sure that all the other slots inside your inventory, and I am sure about this, have to be filled with some kind of item. Because if not, then your axes that come out of this dispenser over here will stack in the other slots, which is not what you want to happen. So that's just one little tip. 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, was the tutorial for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you did like it really, really much. And if you did, be sure to follow up the experience next time because it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you've got any problems with this device, then be sure to place your comment down there in the comment section so we together can help you out. Well, this was me, GT, your host, and I'm signing out. See you in the next one. Bye bye.